we were at the Hotel Nico when Biggie them came. When I was with her the night that Biggie got killed. Really? Uh, yeah, we were supposed to be going to the Peterson Hotel, over to the Peterson Museum. And uh, she was upstairs getting dressed. Uh, Genuine and um, Missy was in the... Um, was was in the limo, and I went up to get her, and Captain Shahid called and told me, man, don't come over here, Biggie just got shot. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, I wanted to uh, ask you, I seen somewhere where you um, you knew Aaliyah's uncle. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, Black, Black Ground Records. I worked for Barry Hankins, and I worked for Black Ground Records. And you, when when Aaliyah died, you was with the uncle, or you? Was yeah, I was with him. Yeah. How, explain to me how that how that was. When he when he got the when uh, after Aaliyah passed, and the uh, the insurance uh, paid the uh, uh, insurance policy, and uh, so I was doing a personal with Barry at the time. Okay. So I was his personal security when he uh, got the. Uh, uh, Got the settlement, and uh, he kicked back. And his her, her mother had got a settlement too. She was, I think, she was in New York, or I think she was in New York at the time, you know. So he uh, uh, got about ninety million dollars for her death. Wow, you know, for royalties and stuff like that. Wow. So yeah. Yeah, and and it it, it had, but it, but it still was just it just had to be tough on because that was so sudden. I remember when that plane it. I guess they said it was over the load overloaded, was overloaded yeah. And, yeah. and it caused that plane to go down. Right. It didn't even hardly make it away from where they were, you know, where they was at. Right. Yeah. It was, I don't remember what. I know they was out of the country. They were, uh-huh. mm-hmm. in, the, in, the, uh, in the Bahamas. Bahamas. In the yeah. Bahamas, yeah. yeah. Man, that was, and she had such a bright future. But she did more than a lot of people ever do in a lifetime, even when the time she was here. Yeah, she was amazing. She was amazing. Girl. She did she, movies. She did all mm-hmm. kind of stuff. I'm mm-hmm. a big fan. I love to go back and see her movies, you know, like mm-hmm. when they come on. Yeah. I'll I was, watch we, them. We, we, uh, we were at the Hotel Nico when Biggie them came. When I was with her the night that Biggie got killed. Really? Uh, yeah, we were supposed to be going to the Peterson Hotel, over to the Peterson Museum. And... uh she was upstairs getting dressed. Uh, Genuine and um, Missy was in the um, was was in the limo, and I went up to get her. And Captain Shahid called and told me, "Man, don't come over here. Biggie just got shot." Wow! You know, and we had just saw him early, and it, it, the atmosphere was like, "Man, do not come to Cali. Do not come." And when we saw him pull, he pulled up about two o'clock. Jumped out of the the limo, him and Puffy, and he jumped out the limo. He had on a, a white walking suit and a, a white mink coat. He jumped out smiling. Captain Shahid walked up to Captain Shahid, uh, the captain of the West Coast uh, of the Nation of Islam. Mm-hmm. And uh, Cap walked up and asked uh, Biggie, hey, Biggie, you need any help? Biggie told him, and these two uh, detectives, L.A. detectives like Shahid Muhammad, yeah, well, we got this. You know, uh, don't worry about it. But if you look at it, Russell Simmons, Biggie, Spike Lee, uh, Death Row Records, as long as the Nation of Islam was on detail, we didn't lose one. Wow. When they thought they were bigger than the nation, they start falling off. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.